Hi everybody, Laura here for Alta New. I'm so glad that you're joining me. Today I have a couple of projects to share with you that I created using the Thank You Stamping Kit by Alta New. And I had a lot of fun playing with this kit. I wanted to show you how it came. Just right off the hop, show you exactly what's in it. So first you get this little pamphlet and it tells you all about the contents, gives you some great inspiration. There's also a special online editor that helps you design and print some stationery. And in this little bag, this is probably one of my favorite things in the whole kit. I don't know what it is about this little case with a brand new acrylic block. It's shiny, it's new, it's got the grid uh, etched right in it and I just love putting it in that case. It just feels so special having its own case. <laughs> anyway you get two um, little mini ink cube sets. One's the Red Cosmos, one's the Green Fields. You also get two stamp sets. You get the Many Thanks and the Daisy Mini. As well you get this whole package of 50 blank little cards. They're not folding cards, they're just flat cards, but you get 50 of them. You also get 50 envelopes. So this is really fun. I'm just like gonna go with it, okay? So after studying the pamphlet, getting lots of inspiration about this little Daisy mini stamp set, I thought I'm gonna just dive right in. Okay, so this Daisy mini stamp set is one of those multi-step stamping floral set which is really fun so it's got three steps i'm stamping the first a base solid layer with the lightest um, pink it's frosty pink this is the lightest color in the red cosmos mini cube set and then i like to reference because sometimes i get a little tripped up with multi-step stamping i never know where to line it up you know it takes you a while there's some pra you know i did a lot of practicing before i taped this video i should prefaced by saying I practiced on scratch paper before I started on my card. So I went frosty pink, coral berry, and then this darkest is ruby red. And I'm just coloring, covering, not coloring, I'm covering this whole card base, making like a floral pattern, as you can see. It's really coming together. Now I'm doing the leaves, and they have three steps as well. So all the thinking's been done. You just have to know where to line it up. You've got the colors. The green fields has the three different shades. So I went lightest, medium, and now I'm doing the darkest, evergreen. And I'm loving all this gorgeous detail, how it comes together. It really makes you look like sophisticated expert stamper when you got the multi-step stamping. Don't, don't you feel like you're like really getting something done when you got all this detail? So I sta stamped a sentiment from the many thanks. And then now on one of the envelopes, I thought, why not tie it together, add a little detail. So I stamped two of the daisies. Again, same colors, same layers, and I'll add a couple leaves. And this really ties it together very nicely, if you ask me. So there is one card and envelope set together. I've got one more to share with you. I thought this time I'm going to branch out and use some other colors i had to throw a little rainbow in there so what i did was i took a circle die i die cut one of those full sticky post-its or you could just use anything to mask off a circle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow that circle and go around and make kind of like a wreath type of design and i'm using that first based solid layer of the daisy and i'm pulling out all my inks so what I love about the Alta New inks is how they come in sets of like four. Well, I do the light, the medium, and the dark, or you can even go to the darkest, whatever you decide. And I, I'm not even going to try to name all the colors right now. I'll have it all listed, but I had a heyday because, you know, I have a thing for rainbows and these daisies just look fabulous with the three different shades and it goes really quickly i added three leaves in just tucked them in every other one and for these i'm using the tropical forest mini ink cube because they are the, i don't know if you know this but green's my favorite color ever and this green set rocks my world i use bamboo parrot and olive and i decided even though i masked off the circle in the end i decided to take that same circle die and just die cut the circle make a window and i'm kicking it up a notch so i'm taking this very basic thank you stamping kit and showing you a very basic way to use it and then i'm showing you the kick it up a notch version so i die cut the window i popped it up with foam tape stamped that same thanks 
sentiment, and then I embossed a coordinating sentiment on a strip of black, popped that up, added a few sparkling clear sequins, and this card is finished. So you can see how much variety and versatility you can get with this thank you stamping kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.